In this video, I'm going to show you the most effective way to fame up as a solo player. You do not need an 8.4 set. You do not need spec to start doing this. You can literally just boot up the game for the first time ever, straight out of the tutorial, pick up this set that I'm about to show you, and just go and fame up. That's all you need to do. And with this method, not only that you're going to be making some fame, you're going to be making 2.4 million fame per hour. Potentially even more, depending on how effective you are. Check it out. The build itself that I've used right now goes like this. It's Mage Cow with the third spell, first passive. It's Mercenary Jacket, same thing, third spell, first passive. Soldier Boots, second spell, second passive. Druidic Staff with the second Q, third W, second passive. But if you don't have this, you can use this. It's just as good. Honestly, it's just as good. You want to have a Torch, a Normal Cape, Roast Pork, and Poisons. I've explained this build in the past, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. But the idea is that you want to use your Q. Don't spam it, except if you want to do big damage on a certain mob, because that actually does a little bit more damage as far as I've seen. Also use this, make sure you auto attack, because this damages the mobs and increases your auto attack damage, uh, like it's a double advantage for you. If you need to heal up W and E, or W and R, the W is basically increasing your healing cast, you increase, uh, you heal more basically. And you also have a resistance in terms of damages, uh, like you take less damage. The E is a heal, the R is a heal that you need to use by attacking. Every single time you attack, you heal. The D is a dot damage, the poison is also dot damage, and the F is mainly used for mobility purposes. That's the whole build, that's the whole build right there. This build overall, let me show you, take 46k from you. This build will be like 50k on average. In Brazilian, it's much more expensive, but it's 50k on average. And the way you want a fame farm, basically there's two ways. Greetings, my fellow viewers. Fret not, for I'm Mogdan's trusty hat, and I come bearing good news. If you enjoy watching my master's content on YouTube, then you will be pleased to know that it's all recorded live on Twitch. By joining us on Twitch, you'll not only get a sneak peek of upcoming videos, but also have the opportunity to win giveaways and drops and just hang out with a lively and amazing community so come on over and join us now we're most likely live at this very moment click the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment to join us first of all you just go and find yourself a road of avalon and you try to find a road of avalon that's uncontested which is rather hard to do but definitely not impossible or second way you unlock brazilian by getting 50k brazilian standing which if you don't know how to do i will also make a video on that explaining how to do it in the easiest way possible and you get yourself in brazilian and use the unstable road portal this is going to take you to a random road. Now, this random road might be the most populated road out there. You never know what you're going to get. But by doing something like this, you're basically almost always going to get yourself in a deep road like I got myself over here. This is an Avalonian a deep road in a way. I mean, not really deep road because it's kind of like... Um, it's one of those areas in which you can place hideouts, as you guys can see. But still, this is how many fame credits I have right now. This is how much fame I have right now. Let me take a picture of this as well. And I'll pop in the food and for one full hour, we're just focusing on faming up and see how much fame we get and see how much fame we get. Basically, the way you gotta do this is by killing all the humanoid mobs that are roaming around and all the mobs on solo chests. Those are the mobs that you want to be focusing on the most. Uh, humanoid mobs drops uh, drop the most, uh, the most fame. So if you just focus on those, you're going to get a huge amount of fame. This is a tier 6 one. Fairly good. It's going to be great for fame. So check it out, chat. With the build that you have, you shouldn't struggle very much against mobs. If they are enchanted, however, still doable, but you're going to struggle a little bit more. Like with this one, not a problem. But if, if this one was enchanted, yeah, the damage would have been much, much bigger. Okay, that was a little bit of a mistake on my part because I stayed in the AoE. Not really any good reason to stay in the AoE like that. I keep staying in it, but it is what it is. As you can, like, for real now, this 4.1 build should easily help you kill those mobs. As long as you have a consistent dodge uh, uh, habit, which I don't, as you guys can see, 53k fame in one mob. So here is a chest. Let's do this. Okay, this. Oh, it's tier 8. Oh, this is perfect. Those are the toughest mobs. Like, if you can get yourself to do those mobs, you can do all of the mobs in, uh, in the Roads of Avalon. I know they don't seem tough right now. But they're going to start jumping around very, very soon. And that's when this is going to go insane. But with the build that you have right now, you should be able to sustain to whatever attacks. As long as you dodge. You got to focus on dodge. And pay attention before I kill them to the fame. One hundred forty-five k fame, chat. And 6k silver. 
This is why I would say you go with a cheap set if you wanna only fame up. Because if you only wanna fame up, check this out, chat. So my build is 50k. I get 7k out of one of those mobs. See, see this? Right now, if I die, I'm not losing silver. I'm not losing silver. This boss, however, is just annoying because it's gonna bop you all over the place. Let's see how much fame this gives. Again, tier 8, this should be amazing. I'm expecting 250k fame. 138k. Boys, within one camp. We, we did this for 10 minutes. We have 60 more minutes. I think I'm gonna be doing this for half an hour, actually. Because half an hour, I feel like it's gonna showcase enough of this. Come on. It's an annoying mob. Oh, you did that. Oh no, you just did that. Okay, perfect. So the idea is you want to focus on the green chests, the green chests that are soloable. With this set, you should be able to solo all the bosses. The only boss that's going to be kind of problematic is going to be the one with the Oath Keepers because he reduces the heal received. So it's going to be a big, big problem in terms of that. But even though maybe you won't be able to kill the boss, you will be able to kill all the mobs and still make a big, big amount of fame. Once you've killed the chest, you have two options. You can either R back to Brazilian. The R back shouldn't cost a lot. So you just literally just R back and uh, go to another unstable road. Or you can keep roaming, or looking for other roads yourself, just entering different roads and stuff like that. And just killing the mobs that you find in the open space. You want to prioritize the humanoid mobs. The humanoid mobs are the only ones that are going to be worth it in terms of fame. But nothing stops you from killing all other mobs. Snap, snap. Oh, and it's tier 8. Tier 8 red boss. Oh, let's go. I'm not going to be able to kill it. Oh, I am. That was, that was nice. That was nice. Now, this is going to be the tough part. This is going to be the tough, tough part. Those two mobs are just the toughest mobs in the whole assembly. I mean, if it's not the old keeper dude, if it's the old keeper dude, then that's the toughest mob in the whole assembly. You you don't want to drink one water, like just, yeah, you you don't. You're not missing out on anything. It's yeah, the don't don't try it. 145k fame chat. This is insane. 145k fame. How long have uh, have we been together? We've been together for five years. We're approaching our sixth year right now. Uh, and we've been engaged for less than half a year at this moment. Or about half a year. And we're gonna get married in on the 10th of June, man. Usually it's not worth doing like the, um, the drone mobs. It's usually worth doing just the humanoid mobs. Those are the biggest mobs in terms of fame. They're much tougher to do though. They're much tougher to do with their attack, with their attacks hitting like small trucks. But just look at this for reference. So let me kill the ball first, just so you see how much fame this drops. Okay, so look at the ball. The ball drops 3.6k fame. Let's see how much the humanoid of the same tier in the same exact chest will drop. So let's see the humanoid and the same amount of HP, I would say. Or maybe a little bit more. 53. <laughs> like, that's why I'm saying focus on the humanoid mobs. Oh, and by, by the way, talking about the silver that you're going to be making in the process, 144k, my build is 50k with the food and everything. The build that I'm using right now. I'm using a very cheap set just to show people that you can do this with an insanely, insanely cheap set. It's Mage Cowl, third spell, first passive, Mercenary Jacket, same thing. Soldier Boots, second spell, second passive, Druidic Staff with those abilities right here. Or this one, if you don't have that one. Or a green chest this is actually not bad okay torch for an offhand and a normal cape now of course you can absolutely upgrade this build and make it better but the reason i'm going with such a cheap set is so i show people that you can absolutely get this done with an insanely insanely cheap set okay boys after i do this camp it's going to be about 30 minutes of farming about maybe a little bit more than 20 uh, than 30 minutes but something like that and we're just going to be able to see exactly how much fame per hour we're getting craft this okay boys it's been 30 minutes let's see how much fame we have let me pull up a calculator let me are back to proceed in the meantime so check it out check it out check it out the fame the fame that we have right now is 355 129033 129033 minus how much fame did we have at the start let me see because i took a picture of it 
three five three seven nine wow man two five seven wow 1.3 million fame in 30 minutes 1.3 million fame in 30 minutes chat let's keep this in mind in 30 minutes times two this is what you get per hour 2.6 million fame 2.6 million fame this is incredible chat this is incredible this must be the best way to fame up this must be the best way to fame up honestly like i don't see how you could make in a solo environment more fame than this now i'm really curious do you think there's any way to make better fame as a solo player with reasonable gear? Like, of course, not 8.3 going in static dungeons and faming up. That's probably going to be the best. But as a player that just wants to invest like an insanely cheap set, 40k, 50k, do you think there's a better way of faming up? I honestly don't think there is. I honestly don't think there is. Watch us play live on twitch.tv slash Mogdan. This video was made possible by our amazing channel members. If you want to support by becoming a channel member yourself, you are going to get access to amazing emotes that you can use in the comment section or during live streams, member only polls and lots of other awesome perks. Shout out to all of you awesome badasses. Thank you so much for supporting us.